Hey everyone, this is Matt. Welcome back to Fire Weekly for the weeks of 16 and 17. I'm excited, Phil. What are we going to talk about today? What is Fire Weekly? Uh, what? No, I'm here with Phil. Is that it? No? No? Okay, well, fine. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Right. Welcome to Fire Weekly. <laughs> That's it! This is the best intro ever! <laughs> oh, I'm so getting cut out next season. Uh, yes, welcome to Fire Weekly. For those that don't know what Fire Weekly is, it is the weekly build contest we have on our server in which you get a main theme and an optional theme. At the end, we judge which builds we see to be the best. It's all a fair, friendly competition, though, so it doesn't yep. really matter. Points mean nothing. It's kind of like uh, whose line is it, but in Minecraft and builds. Exactly. And no jokes. Yep. And, uh, well, what do you mean, no jokes? We've already made, like, seven good jokes this episode alone. Fire! Let's go. <laughs> See? Fire? That was a joke. So, yeah, in this episode, we're looking at the winners for week 16 and 17, and, so, uh, we're gonna start here with number one for week 16. Which the which theme was, uh, never yeah, airship, never, yeah. well, never ship slash airship, and yep. also war camp for the optional, so running ninja took first place on this one. Yeah, with our the awesome little looking boat. Yeah, it's really really cool. It's got like steam engines like propelling it up over the lava, even though it's spewing lava out the front. Which I'm not totally sure where that's coming from, but you know. Oh, I like I like the inside. I like this like bunk down here. This is really cool. Yeah, I kind of like the design oh. in the sense that it's sort of squashed together, but it's still like got the same bulk. So it's like a very thin ship, not like lengthed out in there or anything like that. It almost that. looks like a dragon or something. Yes. These How do I actually get really it? Oh, there we go. I'm, I'm, I'm in now. So, yeah, some, some people cool may see differences. I'll just warn you guys about this now from previous episodes. Is Because we are on 1.7 now, which, you know, everyone else is used to by now, but it's new to us. And uh, also, the texture pack hasn't been updated, so some of the CTM things aren't working right yet and things like that. But just, you know, Bear it'll with work. Us. Yeah. Bear with us. But anyway, that is... Number one. It's a really nice looking boat. I like the purple in that, actually. Yeah, it's, it's a really, really nice, nice purple block, actually. And uh, again, it was just nice to. We've done Never stuff before, but, you know, we wanted to try Never ship this time to see what people come up with. So, so number two is Mr. Yellow Frost, with personally, Phil, my favourite. Yes. I think this is amazing. It is it's really like, awesome. Ah! I got burned by some lava. Ow. <laughs> the one stream of lava falling down. I fly, I fly straight into it. What I really yeah. like about this is how it's like a skeleton of some sort of old nether dragon of some sort. Yes. And it's just been attached to this awesome looking blimp. It, really it is cool. the, you know, if you were an evil demon lord, you know, oh, you would pretty much it. use an old skeleton. In fact, it might not even be dead. It might still be alive, you know, just... Like you a know. skeletal dragon. That's pretty yeah. badass. And Look it's all these chains and everything. No. The chains, the evil glass, you know... I, in fact, there is, you know, there's a door over here, which I'm just going to, you know, break down because... Oh, brilliant. I, you that's know, what I want to say. That's fine. You know, I mean, there's yeah. warning fireproof clothing to be worn outside, you know. He spelt fire wong. Wong? wong. Okay, I'm not going to speak anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Nautilus, the first never submersible. Oh, submersible. Mm. Oh, sweet. So you can get dropped off and Use go into the lava. Use the lever to detach. What's oh, like this. Oh. Oh. Um, okay. Well, we've lost Matt. That's fine. I'll, I'll sail the <laughs> ship. What does this lever do? God, I keep falling. No, okay. Well, that is really cool. I should probably put this door really, back really on, awesome. shouldn't I? Yeah. Just... I love that. It's a really cool design. Really kind of inspiring, actually, um, for things we're working on, so... Awesome. There we go. I managed yeah. to get the door back on. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, so let's take a look at number three. Yeah, okay. Number three. number three is by Dark Artisan. Mm, nice. uh, and as you can see, the floor is missing on this bit, so don't fall down there. But yeah, yeah another nice... Little ship, and I really do like the the back design of this. It's like again, it's a sort of mixture of stuff that is commonly found. It's like kind of like Nordic, but then kind of Egyptian, and then it's an airship, and then there's a skeletal head on the front. So yeah, it's pretty interesting. It's just um, a big cluster of everything. It's maybe not as detailed as the others, but again, these are all pretty small ships. So if you can imagine them kind of scaled up, I think they'd look pretty badass. And you go I really inside. Like the skeleton, actually. Bunks. There are some bunks at the bad. Uh, you know, the, the like bad depth inside. We just can't talk it. today. I think that's well, what you know, it is. You know, we have been recording for a bajillion hours today, so I, I think people will forgive us yes. if they actually knew how much we'd recorded today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is pretty sweet. I really like this build. Really nice. Really good entries actually overall for the nether ship uh, entry side. So yeah, nether is sort of one of those things where you can always sort of go where your imagination wants to on that and still. You know, it just yep. works. So even some okay, evil so trees there. Onto the optional theme here, which is uh, War Camp. So this is Little Grimmy's kind of small little wooden kind of fort build. Really interesting um, kind of style. It is really small, but I kind of yeah. like it. It's, it's, it's nice like to it's have, like, you know, set up. yeah, it's a really quick sort of old traditional camp set up with, like, you know, spikes around the walls and a big trench dug around there and the big heavy gate as well, which I quite like. 
Yeah, this this stuff at the front is really good, like especially the blood, I like the little use of. Blood but then you know you have it's mostly thing. just you know flat and muddy and barren, you know, and that's what you kind of get with a lot of old you know old and medieval kind of war camps and stuff as well. So. Yep. So let's take a look at the other honourable mention here for the war camp, Man. which is by Spanish Maraca ninety eight. Hey! Amazing. <laughs> Sorry. Well, here we go. I this just imagine is, uh, with maracas. So yeah, this is again axis, sort of like a, a medieval type one, but what I like about this one is you've got all the trenches and stuff down there, you've got supplies, and these trenches are more being put in for supplies of people defending there. You've you got beds underneath here, um, you know, where troops have been in. It is really complex. I mean, it's, it's really detailed. You can actually... You know, I'm being slowed down by the, the soul sand, I think. The soul-destroying sand. And, uh, yeah, it's really, really cool, like, butcher stuff on here, all the different I like tents. how there's damage to this building, like, from something, like, something's hit it. From yeah, something. I mean, even, like, the cannon, like, protruding out of the wall, so... This is this is HQ. HQ. And there's some beds and stuff under there for wounded soldiers. Oh, I'm back outside again. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. I like it. It's a, it's really good. I like the scale It, it is actually. literally, sorry, they've just taken, like, some sort of old house with, you know, a basic wall and then just turned it into this sort of war machine. You know, a little industry. I like that a lot. I, I, I think it looks really good. Really cool. Right, so let's take a look now at the winner of the optional theme, which was, of course, Warcamp. Yeah, yeah, it was Yellow Frost with uh, Big Brenda. So uh, this is called the Big Brenda, is it? And oh, I can see why. Okay. This is a this is a big, big this gun. This is kind of sci-fi kind of stuff going yeah. on here. I do like that. Look, you know, you can actually see the side of the loading belt with like TNT and stuff. But what I think I like about this, and I've seen, is that although you think it's just you know one gun on there, if you come down here. It's actually an entire, like, you know, there's engineering sections, no unauthorized oh, wow. entry, so this is clearly, like, a headquarters, you know, an officer's meeting, debriefing room. Oh, wow, I like um, the door. There's even there. a mess hall uh, somewhere around here. I think it might be down uh, this way. Throw this at the enemies. Um, oh. Phil, I found right. some poop. <laughs> is that their backup tactic, is it? I so... guess it's just to throw feces at people, like a monkey. I mean, maybe they are monkeys. Maybe this is, like, you know, oh. a set piece from the new Planet of the Apes movie. Oh, no, I was going to say it's, like, 3D... Um, I, I almost said Star Citizen, that wouldn't even make sense. 3D... Um, <laughs> Donkey Kong? Apex from uh, <laughs> Starbound. Oh, right, okay, uh, like, yeah. The Apex are, like, monkeys from Starbound, yeah. so... Very cool. Do yeah, not exit without helmet or body armor. Yeah. So make sure you got your, you know, this could be a stormtrooper base almost on that one. You know, make sure you look exactly the same as everyone else. Otherwise, Very that's cool. it. So yeah, like munitions, it no naked flames, and all stuff. So there's a lot of detail in here as well, which is you know nice because you sort of look at it from a distance and go, all right, you know, it's just terrain with you know that in it. But yeah. Okay, so let's move on to week 17 here, Phil, which is all about taverns and science fiction. We'll yes. talk about the science fiction bit in a little bit, but first. The winner of the tavern thing was Mr. Hyron, Mr. Harry himself. Yeah, so that's really awesome. I really do like the terrain on this, and wow. it is a yeah, big, is really cool. big house. You know, the, you go inside here, Barbara, and there's just oh almost no end to it. You know, if you look straight up, once you go inside. Wow. Okay, yeah, this is These impressive. high beam ceilings and everything like that, so... Lots of chairs, you know, for everyone to have their drinks and stuff in, you know, and then obviously once you've had your fill and you're going to go and... Yeah, see what I did there. Um, and you feel clever, yeah. clever. And then uh, you go, oh, you even got the high bar stools over there. Yeah, I and like that. And you can that. retire upstairs to a luxurious room. To oh, it's really nice. I mean, it's very detailed. There's a lot of detail going on in here. It's a very, you know, they get a lot of people in here, you know. Yeah. I wouldn't trust this many like books around, you know, to have so many people with so many beverages, Ooh. but, you know. Just go for a little wander over the top of the beam. And you're definitely going to have someone hanging from this by the end of the night, but... <laughs> Otherwise, you know, what's the point? But yeah, I like how you can still look up here and it still looks like intense. Really high, yeah. We're all, we're already at the top in the roof here. I mean, it's a good, you know, one, two, yeah, two, two and a bit seconds to get all the way down again. So very nice. Um, really like the build overall. Let's have a look at the outside a little bit more. Yeah, it's huge, isn't it? Just a really massive wow. slot. All right, number two goes very to cool. JB. That's, JB. That's all we have we on go. there, Mr. JB. And, uh, yeah, really interesting sort of frozen... Well, not, like, frozen, frozen. It reminds me of, like, um, the river town from um, The Hobbit. Yes, yes. I'm trying to think of it. Yeah, Lake Town, basically, yeah. Lake Town, that's what I meant. There's, yeah. even, there's even a little cage at the back, right, with netting and stuff that's with it? chickens inside it. That's how, you know, peasant-esque so peasant I mean, this is. It's dense. Look at it. There's just so much kind of... Like you know, it's, it's definitely on. you know a really old, worn down building, but still being used and has been here for a long time. And yeah. you know those chickens, 
<laughs> are you just up? Are you up? I haven't found the chickens yet. I'm they're like at the back. They're at the back through. here. Uh, I like this. Fa this fireplace is really nice. I'm just gonna join the chickens. Oh, oh poor little chickens. Chickens oh, and ducks. In. I do like the fact that you can also see that you know it's a mesh gate on there. You know, with all the rope and stuff around. It's a different yeah. texture. That's really nice. A lot of oh my god, what am I stuck in? Uh, I don't know. There's soul sand like everywhere. People keep using soul sand in these builds. I think they're doing it on purpose now. Just slows down. Uh, overall, very impressive build again. I cannot see easily already why these are one and two. It's really, really good stuff. So let's uh, move on to number three, which is by uh, Spanish Maraca 98. Aye, 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 aye. <laughs> I knew you were going to do that again. I'm going to have to do it every time now. <laughs> Look at this. It looks like Lake Town again with all these kind of icy bits around. And, stuff. and again, we've got a what, uh, yeah, five, six story building over there. You know, just <laughs> it's crazy as you need for a small tavern. Yeah. In to these small little kind of plots. It's really impressive. I want to go upstairs and just see what's on the other levels and stuff this time, so... Beer of the Blind Man, Tear of the Dog. Tear of the okay. Dog, Oh, Oh, that's a bit sad, isn't it? <laughs> uh, VIP zone, oh, there's a VIP only section upstairs. I'm not sure what's in here. Oh, you get your own little private bar up here. Oh. That's awesome. I'm just having a look you around. Are, but okay. yeah, you're pretty much coming up oh, to it there. I'm, yeah, I'm just raising your yeah. head to see what there is. And there's, oh yeah, there are rooms and stuff upstairs, you know. This is impressive nice stuff, stuff. Look at this. Look how big this place is. I know. There is so much I think there's even like a little this. penthouse. Oh, wow. There's a, there's a pole upstairs, so... Oh, oh. Yeah, nothing up there, and I'm not going okay. on there. It's That's, fine. Uh, I'm going to go on there. Let's just retreat do, and retire do, downstairs. Do, 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 Actually, I wonder what's do, down the bottom do, of this stairs. Get off the pole, Matt. Okay. <laughs> so, again, we could probably spend hours just going through the nooks and crannies of all these builds, but we, alas, we only have about 20 minutes to go through everything on these builds. I'm going to have to so break a window. Ugh, sorry. We are going to escape here. I'm going to jump down. No, I'm not. I'm stuck. That's, Phil, jump out the window. Escape. Get out the window. Oh, it's burning. Ah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, very good. I liked all three of those tavern builds. Really, all really right. cool. Now on to the really cool build. stuff. This is the really cool stuff. Wow. Technical difficulties by Running Ninja, I guess. Yes. So this? this is from the sci-fi theme, so we can go in at the bomb here. And hello, welcome to Rapture, nonetheless. Oh my god. Yep. It's that's, Rapture. That's what it is. Uh, so poop. anyone that doesn't know what Rapture is, where have you been? It's the uh, original um, city setting. from... Uh, yeah, it's the original setting for Bioshock. What is this? Is this a lift? Yeah, Welcome this to Blue Shell Apartments. There's even like names of stuff on here as well. It's great. Oh, all we're missing Blue Shell big... Apartments is a Mario Kart reference. <laughs> don't get him first. Maybe. Yeah, don't get him first. I hate Blue Shells and Mario Kart. Can I just say that? I keep getting him first. Have you got every a super horn yet? If you get a super horn, you can destroy the blue shell. Yes, but like as it comes in. I, I've been blue shelled like three times in one race before. Anyway, before this time evolves into more Mario Kart rage. <laughs> Welcome to Fire UK Mario Kart discussions with Matt and Phil. Yes. There we go. But yeah, That's a really nice is. build. It you know it sort of captures what it is to be in a. I like all the drippy. The yeah, yeah, the, nice. the the leakage. You know, it's falling apart. And I already. guess if I fly through here, you can see the sea floor is all detailed with like algae and different Coral types of and sea stuff. plants and stuff. Yeah. it's really cool. I'll just skip because that's overhanging dark bridges and stuff up here. So the second honorable mention here for the sci-fi theme is by JB, and he's built this crazy. I'm assuming that's himself, sure. that's his skim. But, uh, yeah. It, Being I teleported believe... in or something? I think that's kind of what in or out, things. yeah. But what I love about this the most is the fact that, yes, you have like, your, your circle on the top, but it's these two other ones that are like just slightly off one of their axes. So yeah, they're not perfect They're not circles, perfectly yeah. flat, which is really nice. And then also, you know, he's just dissolved himself at the bottom, which, you know, is not that's something I can cool. imagine is pleasant, but, you know... You know, it's sort of like, you know, if he was a tradition, he's kind of sorted himself into Casper a little bit, you know. He or... does look a little bit like a ghost, doesn't he? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, very impressive kind of statue build. I like that quite a lot. And number one, the winner of the sci fi theme is. It goes to Yellow Frost. And yeah, uh, man, he's, he's made everything. A, our traditional, you know, little I would say American this is like 80s, home. 80s style kind of street from America. To be honest, this, I mean, uh, most, most things out of America now, you know, they look like this, especially in older films. So, yeah, you know, just the old neighborhood. And, uh, yeah, your classic sci-fi. Oh, no, wait, yeah. sorry. It's definitely England. This is a Royal Mail van. Oh. All right, fair enough. Definitely. Well, this definitely doesn't look like England. much of it. <laughs> but, hey, either way. 
and you've got this poor little gent being carried up oh. here. And I believe, uh, okay. if I'm not mistaken, we can actually go up into the spaceship, into the mothership, and oh my God. Uh, see where all of the fun happens. Uh, and by fun, I mean, wow. obviously, probing. This is, this is nicely detailed, oh. though, like all this kind of stuff. Oh, what have you found? There's actually a piston door. Wow. Yeah, I did, thought you were going to get trapped in there. Oh, well, welcome to the bridge. Oh, my goodness. This seems oh, really big. Uh, oh, what? Uh, Why are uh, we here? This is. Are they cloning us? I don't know what's going on. They're like, this is me and this is you. Oh, God. Phil, what have they been doing uh, to us? Eh. Hang on. Uh, I can't no clip in. No clip's not no clip, allowed. No. no clip is not allowed on the server in 1.7 no. right now. Ruining all of Phil's plans. How uh, do we get out? Easy. Oh, there's a button above it, but okay. <laughs> we will break the door. That's what we do to aliens, clearly. <laughs> well, they've cloned us, so yeah, that's it now. Probably better off staying out oh. here. Oh, God. Ah! 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 Oh, my goodness. Okay, oh, I like this. Oh, my God. Phil, it's loud! <laughs> get out, get out. Oh, God. Oh. Huh. <laughs> well, there was a warning sign. Yes, probably better off staying. I agree. Mainframe access. So there's some cool little computer terminals. Computer. Oh, yeah. Computers. Computer. I like this a lot. This is really cool. Love the little windows as well. It feels very, like, much bigger on the inside. <laughs> like yeah it does actually doesn't it uh, yeah, choose an empty cryopod weapon. to engage cryo sleep crew quarters oh nothing happens when oh this is sweet look at this there's a lot of aliens that lived on this ship I think yeah well the thing is it's got quite an alien theme to it like in terms of like the cryopod medical all that sort of stuff did we look at medical I don't think we did look at medical yeah that's where our cloned bodies oh, were oh that's I thought that was the bridge oh no this is the bridge you're going up a little water thing ooh I'm going up, Phil. Goodbye. What? Where are you going? Oh, what I'm, are you I'm doing? in. I'm in like some water area. Oh, here we go. This is. The I bridge. think you're being cloned, mate. I think that's. This is amazing. It's like the bridge right at the top of the UFO. Oh, look at this. Oh yeah, no, I'm here now. Pew pew pew. Oh, this pew. is cool. I'm glad I got pew. up here. Oh, I set. Um. D <laughs> pew. <laughs> Good job. Do we have an ender eye? No, there we go. That's perfect. <laughs> that looks exactly how we left it. That's great. I love how every single time we go into one of these builds, we break it more. <laughs> we just shouldn't be allowed. I hope yeah, it's very, if you build something on awesome. Fire Weekly, don't don't be upset if this. No, well, this if you happens. win, you get you get to be in a video. You so. get to you get to have your build abused by. Oh my goodness, you Come actually. On, let's let's escape. Uh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. I'll do fine. Uh, oh, yeah. there we go. That's fine. That's fine. We'll escape but back yeah, into reality. I can't believe all of that is in that. It feels... That's crazy. I know, right? If you look at it from the outside, it's very deceptive in terms of space, because you think, like, yeah, ha, space. Um, no. It's only oh. a few blocks high, but I'm just full of the puns today. Especially the top, I think. That's, like, the most deceptive. But, yeah, cool. congratulations to all of the winners and runners up. And thanks to everyone that takes part in Fire Weekly. Hello. Yep. Yep, it's been uh, really fun. We've been really enjoying doing these five weekly episodes, actually, because it really kind of shows different things. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well, because there's some amazing builds on these. And I know they're not huge scale builds and stuff, but they're really kind of exciting builds to just kind of look at and see where they're going with. So I'm very yes. happy with how all of If you do want to take part on. in Fire Weekly, there is all the information on the website, which will be linked down in the description. So check yep. that out. And if you guys have any ideas for themes that you haven't seen yet or you want to see, throw those down there as well, and you might just get your theme picked for the new Fire Weekly. Yeah, we've already chosen some themes from the comment sections already that you've seen in the past. They're, most of these are actually kind of ideas that people have already have. Ow, that was splashy. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Okay. Goodbye! Goodbye! Ow. Just do this again. It's a great way to uh, end the video. Yeah. Run away!